Okay, so let's move on into the next type of function, which is function without a return value. So the concept is the same as function with the return value, except for this time, okay, with a function with the return value, you have a return statement at the bottom, right? With function without a return value, just from its name, we know that that function will not return any value, okay? Since it does not return anything, you will notice that at the function definition, okay, you need to place void, okay? Since there's no return value, so there's no data type that you're returning, okay? So we put here at the top, we put void, all right? So whenever you see a function that has a void, it means that this function will not return any value. So this is function without a return value. Okay, so most of the time, um, when do we use function without a return value? Most of the time, we use it to display something. Let's say you calculate, for example, in this example, we want to calculate total. So you take in number one, you take in number two from the parameters, okay? You calculate those two numbers, okay? If you have a return value, then this time you would do return total, right? Since this is a function without a return value, instead of returning the value, you display the value instead. So meaning that your function, whenever it is executed, it just ends there. Okay, it won't give any value back to the person that calls it. Okay, so usually it is used to display your calculated value, right? Okay, of course, again, with any functions, you need to have function declaration, okay? So you need to declare your function. Next, you need to define your function. So inside our function definition, okay, since there's no written value, you need to place void at the top, okay? And if we calculate something, we can display the value that we have calculated, all right? Uh, so whenever um, you want to uh, execute a function, again, we can just use a function call, all right? All right, so let's take a look at this question. It says that write a program that calculates the wage of an employee. Your program will read the employee's name, the number of hours worked, and the hourly pay rate. The program should display a greeting message to the user and the wage of the employee that has been calculated. So basically, this program asks us to write a simple program without the use of a function. So let's try and do that. So the first thing that we need is we need to get the employee's name. So we're going to write C out, enter your name okay and then we're gonna ask for the name so get line c in common name all right so we'll declare this as string okay and then the next thing we need is we need to ask for the um hours worked so c out enter hours worked so how many hours at the this person has worked so see in hours so hours will declare this as integer okay and then our last input would be the hourly pay rate so enter hourly pay rate so maybe this is in rm what so c in rate so in one hour how many does this person get All right Okay, so based on these, we're going to calculate the wage. So to calculate the wage, all we need to do is just wage equals to hours times rate. Okay, so in the end, okay, we need to display a greeting message and the wage of the employee that has been calculated. So to do that, so let's write C out. So basically with greeting message, after you enter the name, you get the greeting message, right? So let's try and do this. So before we ask for the hours worked and the hourly pay rate, so let's do C out. Based on the name, we can write welcome, okay, this person. So we do a name, all right? So we write not welcome based on the question. Hello, this person's name. And then we're going to write welcome to this program. Okay, so that's that. All right. And then after that, we're going to calculate the wage. So once we calculate the wage, we can just display the wage. So see out your wage is 
RM so we get that from the wage all right so we'll declare this wage as float as well all right so this is how we solve this problem without the use of a function all right so let's change this up okay and write the same program but use function display greeting as well as function calculate wage all right so when we do this so let's remove this when you do any um, um question with functions it's best that you write your functions first all right so in this case the name of my function is called this big greeting okay so with this you must decide whether it is function without a written value or function with a written value okay so read the question carefully so first of all function display greeting do not receive any value through its parameters meaning that it does not receive any value through its parameter because like i've said parameter is optional so you don't need to write things in here if you don't need to okay so with display greeting it will read the employee's name and display a greeting message so since we do not receive any um value from anybody all right so in order for us to display the greeting message with the person's name okay we are respond this function is responsible to actually get the name from the user itself all right so you can ask the user enter your name so meaning that whoever calls this function okay this function will ask the user for the name all right so cn and then we write name here okay so we're going to declare that so string name okay so um if you take a look here it will read the employee's name and display a greeting message to the user as follows so we write the greeting message c out welcome okay name welcome to this program not welcome hello sorry hello name welcome to this program okay so we've done that all right so if you take a look here this program does not return any value so there's no written value here meaning that at the top here okay instead of writing the data type we write here void okay so that's when we know that this function is a function without a written value okay so since we um place this function after our main program so we need to declare that at the top here as function prototype okay so we put up here void display greeting and then without any data type there okay so moving on to the next function okay this function is called calculate wage okay so calculate wage so what does this calculate wage receives as parameter it receives the number of hours worked and the hourly pay rate so meaning that with the parameter we have two values that we need to receive which is the number of hours worked so int maybe we can write here hours okay and then the hourly pay rate so for pay rate it is float so we write here rate okay so we open up our curly braces we're inside here okay this function we calculate and display the wage of the employee so based on the hours received and the rate received we can calculate the wage so wage equals to hours times rate okay since we haven't declared wage so we can just declare it up here and wage okay so if you take a look here this function again does not return any value so instead it will display the wage of the employee so all we need to do is just write here see out the your wage is rm oops okay wage all right so since again does not this function does not have a written value all we need to do at the top here we just write here void okay so we write here void calculate wage and then it has two parameters which is int and float all right semicolon okay so depending on the function okay this function could either be function with a return value or function without a return value or function with pass by reference depending on what the function is okay you need to place either a data type here or a void okay so um 
since we have done these two functions, okay, we can just write our main program, all right? So with this program, um, in order for us to um, display the greeting message, the main program does not need to do that. So all we need to do is just call the function display greeting. Okay, since this function doesn't need anything, okay, we don't have to send anything. Okay, since this function does not have a written value, we do not have to have a um, equal at the front here. We don't we don't need to store any data there. Okay, because this is function without a written value. Okay, so when this function is called immediately, okay, it will ask for the user's name, all right, and it will immediately display the greeting message here as well. Okay, once it's done that, it goes back to the main program. Okay, then after that, all right, we need to calculate the wage, all right. So in order for us to calculate the wage, okay, um, we need to call this function calculate wage, okay, but this function needs an hour and also a rate. So in order for us to call this function, we need to give these two things to this function. So we need to get those things ready first, all right. So we ask for the user for the um, number of hours worked, okay. So C out, enter number of hours worked, okay. And then C in hours, okay. So Make sure that whenever you, um, okay, so let's say I rename this as maybe H, which you can do that. You don't have to have give the same name as this, okay? So let's say I give this H, okay? And then C out, the next thing I need to get is enter um, the hourly pay rate, okay? So we write here, enter hourly pay rate, okay? And then C in. Okay, maybe we can write here R, all right? So when we want to send this um, two values here, okay, we call this function called calculate wage, all right? So calculate wage, okay, we're gonna send R and also, I mean, H and also R here, okay? So whatever that the user enters here, okay, it will be transferred to hours, Okay, and whatever the user enters is R, okay, this R here will be transferred to rate. Okay, now whenever you declare this, okay, when you declare these two variables here, we need to take a look at what kind of data type is received here. Since this hours receives integer, you must make sure that the H will be integer as well. Okay, so up here we write INT H. Okay, and also R, since we're sending value to rate, okay, the rate here is float. So we need to write here float h, all right? And that is how we um, basically make sure that the values can be passed to this function, all right? So once we've done that, okay, if you take a look at this function, okay, if it has a written value, then of course we need to write here wage equals to calculate wage. But since this does not have a written value, okay, we do not need to receive anything at the main program. Okay, because this function will receive this two value and it will, um, what's it called, display the wage immediately to the user. Okay, and that is the end of this program. All right, so that is how you solve this. Okay, function without a return value will have a void at the front. Okay, that's how you immediately can, immediately can know that this is function without a return value. All right. Now, let's take a look at the next question. It says, what would be the output display on the screen for the program below if the input is 3.2? So with this question, we're gonna have to trace the program. Again, whenever we come across with program that have more than one functions, okay, we need to take a look at the main program first. Do not take a look at other functions because these other functions will only be executed if it's called, all right? So let's take a look at our main. So first of all, I'm gonna write main all right so what's inside our main so we have the variable called rad okay so enter radius of the circle so since the input is 3.2 so the rad would be 3.2 so calculate area circle rad meaning that right now we are calling this function so when we call this function we are taking a look at this function right here and we are receiving the rad which is 3.2 so the radius now would be 3.2 
okay so we have so once this function is called so we have this function called calculate area circle okay so inside this function we have a variable called area which is okay and then we also have radius okay so the radius is 3.2 all right then area equals to 3.142 times radius which is 3.2 times radius so 3.142 times 3.2 times 3.2 we have 32.17408 okay so since we have c outside precision so this will now be the output so we have an output here okay so the output would be the area of the circle is so since this is in um, two decimal places so it would be 32.17 okay so since we've done that all right so the function stops there so when the function is stopped there okay it will go back to the main program so everything will be deleted okay since the function has done its job okay all right, so moving on to the next line would be another function call. So we're calling this function again, but with a different value, okay? So the next value would be 4.5. So the radius now will receive a 4.5. So this will receive 4.5. And then area equals to 3.142 times 4.5 times 4.5. So we will have... 63.6255 okay so c out set precision so again we'll have an output here so again the area of the circle is okay we have 63.6 whoops 63.62 okay so since it's done that okay so we're moving but back up all right since there's no more um uh, lines of code there so our output would be the area of circle is 32.17 and the area of the circle is 63.62 so basically this is how we solve this problem using function without return value as we all know with function without return value it does not return anything so the um, process stops there all right